Welcome to clickmyproject.com Let us discuss about the product Characteristics Mode Analysis of a Class of Empirical Design Techniques for Pro Feed Use Lot Microstrip Patch Antennas Yeah, let us discuss about the abstract of the product So in this proposal Characteristics Mode Analysis of Three Empirical Design Techniques for the Pro Feed So symmetrically located and uh, Use Lot Microstrip Patch Antenna and a single layer grounded substrate is presented with supporting experimental data so the first method so that is a resonant frequency utilize the extension of the four uh, distinct uh, resonant frequency while the second one dimensional invariant so that is a di realize on the property of di for design the u slot microstrip patch in both of these methods the optimization of the probe location is necessary for further enhancement of the 10 db return loss bandwidth so the third method dimensionally invariant resonant frequency that optimally combines a feature of the previous two is developed here so and shown to be better bandwidth performance with uh, minimal or no probe location optimization and hence this is superior to the other two rapid prototyping so the characteristics mode uh, analysis is carried out of the critical parameters such as a substrate electrical thickness slot with probe radius and field location variations so to uh, assess the dominant influence on the characteristics of the u slot microstrip patch antenna so the square uh, in this proposed work the square patch loaded with two u slot slot antennas is designed for w lan and vimax applications the slow the slot antenna concept has been used in patch antenna design to maximize the return loss and reduce the antenna size here we are using the substrate as fr4 so the fr4 uh, dielectric constant is 4.4 finally we calculating the radiation pattern directivity return loss vsw so that is a ot standing wave ratio and bandwidth of the proposed antenna or calculator so by using the hfss 14 software package so the hfss means the high frequency structure simulator so here we using the hfss uh, to design the antenna of the process yeah, let us discuss about the flow diagram of the process so this is a hfss so H high frequency structure simulator so first of all uh, generate a 3d structure and then solution time and then parametric model analysis setup result of the structure so the 3d structure uh, in hfss process we only develop a 3d domain of the process so solution type we calculate the eigen value and then uh, it has a driven model and driven terminal of the process here we using choose in the driven terminal of the process and then parametric model so parametric model here we assumption of boundaries and excitation in the boundaries uh, here we using the electric field so the assumption the perfect t and the excitation we calculating the wave port so we using the wave port of the process and then excitation so in the excitation we analyze the wave port of the process so next we calculating the analysis setup so in this analysis setup we calculating the frequency so that is a start and stop frequency finally we calculating the results like uh, return loss vswr and bandwidth of the antenna in the analysis setup we uh, given a start and stop frequency of the process and then now it's a uh, center frequency so that it will be designed which frequencies are uh, like uh, 3.5 GHz like that so finally calculating the result of the structure so the next uh, process is the proposed design of the calculator of the antenna so finally we calculated the process that is shown in the field yeah this is the side view representing the layers of the antenna first of all the substrate and then uh, ground plane coaxial probe and then patch of the antenna so this is the patch substrate ground plane and the coaxial probe of the so this is the overall the view so that is a side view representation layer of the antenna of the process so this is the design window of the process here we using the two u slot antenna of the process so this is the patch and then here they be using the two u slot and this is the substrate of the process so by using this all the design we calculating the result of the structure that is a uh, radiation pattern return loss bswr bandwidth and also uh, various type of antenna and uh, similarly to the 2d and 3d of the structure so these are the overall flow diagram of the process yeah let us discuss about the running procedure for the product so here we using the process of so this is the overall running procedure for the product so this is the validation box here we are using the square patch antenna uh, by using uh, two u slot so this is one type of u slot and this is the second u slot so and then next to this is a substrate so here here the substrate is presented so this is the substrate uh, that means uh, that is fr4 substrate that the dielectric constant is 4.4 here we are using the substrate of the process and then uh, this is the coaxial probe so coaxial probe like uh, the outer layer is connecting coaxial probe the inner layer coaxial pin 
and quacks out of the process so this is the uh, excitation to give in the process and then uh, next of all the tilic so this is the boundaries perfect t1 for applying the patch and then perfect t2 for applying the ground and for the radiation box is, uh, is uh, recovered by and also predicted by the end run so here we're using the radiation box as a process and then excitation so here we're using the excitation as a may port circle so as represented as bottom of the layer so next is the as a setup i already i told that the sweep frequencies so the stop frequency is four and stop frequency is six so this is the start and stop frequency of the process and then the setup so setup here we uh, given the solution frequencies is 4.8 jazz so this is the start and stop frequency of the process so check the validation box so design settings 3d model boundaries and excitation miss operation analysis setup optometrics and radiation so these are the validation checkbox of the process so this is the run overall running the process so here we using the this button to click and then run let's take time some time to display the process so and then finally we calculate the results of the uh, overall uh, all the results like uh, return loss psw or radiation pattern like 2d and 3d of the process so next of all uh, calculating the result hvss and then results uh, create a terminal solution data report rectangular plot uh, here we selected the re uh, return loss of the process so this is the return loss Malo uh, minus minus uh, I mean uh, minus minus 10 dB so calculating the return loss of the process here we are changing the dual pattern of the antenna and then uh, the next figure is uh, so this is, the and th this is the 3D radiation pattern so on the 3D radiation pattern calculating uh, x y z so the red is denoting the maximum intensity of the process and then calculating the VSWR so here we are using the VSWR like uh, and that is uh, calculating so this is the one type of a dip and then this is another one and then 2d radiation pattern so the 2d radiation pattern we get in the, like the part of the antenna and then this is also the 2d radiation pattern of the process so uh, here we using the radiation pattern by using the start and stop uh, degree and uh, i mean uh, theta so the start is equal to 0 degree and the stop equal to the 360 degree finally calculating the process like that so these are the overall running procedure for the process for listening this video.